Hi everyone, it's Christine and I'm excited to record my first video blog post with you all and share with you my preparation to create an inspired birth experience. So many of you know that I have less than eight weeks until the due date of our first child and lots of people have been asking me what I'm doing to prepare mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually for this birth because I've, I've really been viewing the preparation for this birth and the birth itself as a spiritual experience. And I really want to share with other mothers and pregnant women and and the partners in their lives about how you can also create an inspired birth experience. So I'm going to be creating video blogs probably on a weekly basis until the, the baby's born and just want to keep you all up to date with what I'm doing. And of course, I want to hear back from you about what you're doing to, to prepare for your birth and even if you aren't pregnant, then what are you birthing in life? Maybe it's not a baby, but maybe you're birthing uh, a, your true self or your purpose or your passion or a new business. I'm sure there's a new relationship. I'm sure that there's something in you that's being birthed as well. So first I wanna share a couple of books that have really inspired me and empowered me. One is called Orgasmic Birth. And this is, yes, orgasmic birth. You read that right, everyone. This has been a very enlightening book to read so far. And, and really, it, it's, it's talking about how we can actually create an orgasm during birth, that women have uh, created the environment and allowed themselves to experience an orgasm during birth and i've never given birth before but let me tell you if that's even a possibility then i want to know about it because that's on the other extreme from everything that we see in the tv and media and movies about what going through labor is like so the the other book i'm reading is called gentle birth gentle mothering and it's been equally as empowering and and the main thing that you know i've only just read the first couple chapters in both of these books but the main thing that they're both saying so far is a, a, the importance of the environment that we create for ourselves when we're in labor and and how it's important to create a safe comfortable nurturing environment and that in fact giving birth is we should create a romantic as though we're creating a romantic evening with our partner because this is a can be viewed as a very romantic intimate experience between your partner and yourself so my husband and i have been talking about well what does that look like for us what does romance look like to us dimming the lights having candles aromatherapy uh, romantic relaxing music in the background because if i want a gentle birth or an orgasmic birth that is the environment is so important because even if you think about having an orgasm i don't know about you but i probably wouldn't be having one in a room that's brightly lit in a hospital with people coming in and out monitoring me and with gadgets and technology all around me that just wouldn't support that experience so so we're lucky enough to actually be working with midwives and we're going to be having a our birth at home a home birth in a birthing pool so that's been really exciting so and i'm just so grateful to the government of alberta for including that in our health care that we actually get midwives paid for as part of our, our health care. I know it's not like that in all areas of North America, but I would strongly encourage you that if you haven't looked into that option for yourself to, to really look into uh, getting care for midwives. So so that would be a, my my very first recommendation is to to get with some midwives and to check out these two books and to create a nurturing, safe, romantic environment for your birthing experience. So that's my update for today. And I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like I said, 
I, I want to hear about your reaction to these books and to creating environment. What are you doing for your birthing environment? And again, of course, if you aren't even birthing a baby, if you're birthing a purpose, what does that what does that look like to you? So I really look forward to keeping the conversation going and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.